Radio Rahim with Roman Fury. I've done, this is my third Fury interview tonight, and they've all been of fighters. What is with you guys? I don't know. It must be something in the water or, you know, my dad's balls, but we're all born to be fighters, aren't we? So, what can I say? Uh, you didn't even bother to have an amateur career, no Olympics, no nothing. Would you just wake up this morning and decide, you know what, let me lace them up and, and just show that I got the Fury blood in me? Many people think that, but, you know, I've put a lot of work in for the past two years and I've always been doing it throughout my life, whether it's messing about, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm happy with that performance. Yeah. I mean, you know, in the 20s, that's a late start for most fighters. But do you feel like you're starting late or is it because of uh, your family that you feel like you've been fighting in some way your whole life? Yeah, I don't feel like a novice and I think I proved that tonight, you know. I've never had a fight before, but I was calm and collective and I'm proud of myself. I've gained confidence in myself and... I think I'm ahead of where I should should be. You know, a guy who's never done anything in the sport, so I'm happy. What type of inspiration do you take from Tommy and, and Tyson? You know, the big motivators, especially what Tyson's done. He's, you know, he's, he's gone off the rails, come back and achieved the greatness again. So when I'm feeling low, I'm quitting. I always look back what he's done and it pushes me on, you know. So, yeah, big motivation. Big motivation. I, I, I realize it was a four-round fight, your first one, but was there any moments in that ring that were unexpected? Anything that you experienced for the first time? Uh, no, you know, really, it was um, a pretty solid performance, I think. I was relaxed. Um, it was a good fight, what can I say? Now, you're still looking for your first knockout. Yeah. Now, you know how boxing media is. Every time you don't get one, we're going to have to bring that up. What do you think might have been the difference tonight where you could have uh, gotten a 10 count on your opponent? I think it's just a little bit of timing. My timing was off. I think my feet were just a little bit uh, further out when I was throwing, but that'll come with time, you know. Each fight's a learning fight, and I'm sure next one. I'll get better and better, and that knockout's coming. And no matter what your last name is, each and every fighter has its own journey, his own path to walk. How do you see yours, and what is your goal to achieve in this sport? I want to be a world champion. I want to win titles like every boxer in the sport does. Um, and however long it takes, what I need to do, I'll do it, you know. There's nothing I won't do because I'm hungry for it, and I've got things to do. I've got my own name I've got my own name to make, and I'll do that, you know. Now, what are you going to do when one of these YouTubers calls you out because they want a fury on the other side of the ring, and they want to fight a real professional boxer? You're going to be in that conversation now. I'm a professional boxer now, so uh, <laughs> give me the money, innit? <laughs> <laughs> which one which, which one would you like to see? I'd like to uh, spank that Logan Paul, you know. I take him out easy, no problem. Tommy has Jake and I have him. <laughs> there we go. That, uh, happen. That's a card we can promote, right? Well, uh, congratulations on your first uh, pro fight. You did look good out there. We look forward to seeing you in the ring again soon. Radio Raheem with Roman Fury. Yeah.